This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck as a 2000 Ford F-250 four-door extra cab. Ford calls it a super cab. Um, short bed. has a 7.3 liter turbo diesel. It's four-wheel drive. It also has a Lariat package, which means it's leather. It's an automatic. Purchased directly from a new car dealer. It was a new car dealer trade-in. Because it's over 100,000 miles, they sell it if it had... 100,001 miles, it, they would sell it. Doesn't matter what the condition is on, on these things. They can't get loans for their customers on their used lots, so they sell them. Anyway, we buy them all when they're in this kind of condition, and this is a nice truck. It's got 292,000 miles, a lot of miles, but it's a 7.3, and it's a good looking truck. It's got a few dings and nicks here and there, but uh, whoever owned it before we bought it, put a really nice set of tires on it fairly recently so they liked it enough to spend another eight hundred to a thousand dollars on it so I'm sure that it's quite a truck now we're still waiting for a windshield it has a crack on the lower part of the windshield so we have a new windshield coming in tomorrow morning but it came back from detail before the windshield came in um, so you got that coming it needed an ABS sensor on the right front wheel which it had got from us and it uh, got a new stabilizer strut and that's it. Uh, went to detail. It's a beautiful truck. We walk you around it. Obviously, 7.3 makes it very popular. There are your tires. They are, what do we got here? LT265 7516s. Can cook uh, Dynapros. Little stuff like this. Some rock chips on the hood. Front bumper has a little ding here. It's my job to point out the negative stuff, not so much the positive. Just some little rock chips there. I saw a real light, long, like four or five inch dent in the uh, lower passenger door, rear door. That I'll show you. But uh, one of the one of the things I always look for. Especially in a new car dealer trade-in is whether they have new tires or not. New tires tell me they loved it and then uh, for whatever reason they needed money or something and they uh, traded it in or sold it. These little touch-up paint mat. That's that. Let's see what else. A scratch here. Here. Really it's just touch-up paint. This is probably a good place for some touch-up paint too. I wouldn't do anything other than touch up paint. Ruin the value in the truck. Has some uh, air suspension there. I'm guessing that we're going to find where that fills. Oh, there it is, right here. <laughs> Tow package. You have a very that looks like a new spare. Tailgate looks good. Didn't do much towing. Uh, trailer hitches normally tear up that uh, plastic over the hitch if it does a lot of towing. I don't see that. Chip here peeling paint which was normal on the Fords in that time frame early 2000s sure. bags on the driver's side I would just get a touch up of paint and spend nine dollars and about a half an hour touching up and you'd be done we do have a remote there you go start this thing up that I'm gonna look under the hood for uh, bin stamps and you can see what it runs like under the hood 292,732 miles all right there's your bin stamp right there Right there is the VIN stamp. That's the Ford stamp. 
There's your Ford stamp on the uh, passenger side core support. There's your VIN stamp on the driver core support. There's your VIN stamp on the passenger uh, and the driver fender, I mean. to look at there, which is a good thing. I just noticed this peeling paint up here on the uh, driver door also. I'm not sure what this is for, but I see that missing on a lot of trucks. Let me see. Let me walk it on the other side and I'll come back to the driver's seat. Very common for the rear seats in the diesel trucks to look like they're unused. Go to the passenger side, make sure you're locked. All right. Nothing going on there. There's the passenger front door. Here's your window. This is a manual seat on the passenger side. Looks good. Nothing going on there. Nothing going on is always a good thing. Look at the roof real quick, make sure we have no surprises on the roof. And the answer is no. You can see that crack in the windshield. Right here. That's going to be gone tomorrow. I kind of screwed up an order to late. My guys brought it to my attention just a minute ago. See if the mirrors work. Yep, out, in, up, down. Other side, out, in, up, down. Perfect. All right, let's see. Driver's seat forward, back, pull seat up, pull seat down. Front seat cushion up, front seat cushion down, rear seat cushion up, rear seat cushion down. That works fine. There's a little bit of a ding right here. This coloration there. Looks like at some point uh, this seat's been recovered. Actually both front seats. Because this, this is the original in the middle, yeah. Whoever owned this thing before has had both seats recovered, which obviously is why it doesn't say Larry right here. Um, we didn't do this, but uh, you can tell this is the original, and this is newly covered. So, Another good sign that the guy cared enough to spend some money on it. Tires and seat coverings and stuff like that. A little bit of discoloration on the carpet here. Tilt wheel. Perfect. And, believe it or not, it's still hot in Tucson. So, let's see belt on. Let's see, see belt on. Sometimes I want. Radio works, obviously, it's from the air up here a little bit. It's warm. It's still summertime in Tucson, even though it's, all, it's uh, October, early October. Let's put it in the four wheel low. Now we're in four low. 
put it in the drive. Perfect. Put it into reverse. And it's definitely four low. All right, neutral. Back to four high. Now we're in four high. Put it in drive. Perfect. And reverse. Neutral, back to two-wheel drive, we're back in two-wheel drive, let's go for a ride. I do notice that <laughs> this stupid thing doesn't work, not worth the effort. You can buy those uh, little LED displays for $29 on eBay, people sell them all over the place, brand new. You'll plug it in, it'll work for a couple months, it'll blow up, not worth the effort. Uh, I put that in the same category as parking sensors and tire monitors. Waste of money, waste of time. All right, if you come to Tucson to drive it home, you're gonna pay a dock fee of $250 and you're gonna pay taxes, 2% city sales tax, plus whatever your state tax rate is. If your state tax rate is 3%, you're gonna pay a total of 5% tax and a $250 dock fee. You pay by wire and ship it home, all you're gonna pay is the agreed upon price. Uh, deal with your uh, taxes or fees or whatever in your state when you go get plates. Seven three, right there. Not the fastest truck in the world. If you want a fast truck, you can buy a 6.0, and then you wonder when it's gonna need an EGR, or if it'll need an EGR. Sometimes they don't. Um, or you buy a 7.3, and they pull great, and they never break, and uh, that's that. <laughs> never break. And then I say never break. This will break. <laughs> Anyway, please make sure you get your deposit in once we have an agreed upon price. Once we have a deposit, we'll put your name in a banner over the truck on our website at wheelk.com. Also, if you're on eBay, this is a 292,000 mile truck. Okay? It's not a new vehicle. I have to say that. I've been saying that for the last, I don't know, two or three months in all of our videos at the end. Not just this truck, every vehicle we own, I say the same thing. They're out of warranty for a reason. If they could give them a million mile warranty, these trucks would have sold brand new for $100,000. Okay, but the engineers know what they're doing. They don't know when the major stuff's gonna happen, so they just take themselves out of it. If they know more, they definitely know more than we know. So we don't know what's gonna happen to this truck. A week from now, a month from now, certainly not years from now. Um, so if you need the insurance of what's gonna happen and you don't want to spend a lot of the money that you saved, or any of the money that you saved. It's scratching that tin right there. That tin should come off. That looks kind of bad. Um, if you don't want to save some of the money you're saving by dealing with us and getting a 7.3, uh, then you got to go to the new car dealer and buy one. You know, you can buy a the new 6.7, which is a hell of a motor, um, but uh, you're probably going to pay for the extra cab lariat, fifty thousand dollars. So, uh, I don't know. There, there's, there's some people that are very, very strange, especially on eBay lately. And uh, I have to say this stupid stuff about it not being a new truck. And please read the ad. Look at all the pictures. Think about what you're buying. Don't expect new. This thing's at 292,000 miles, so it's going to have some creaks and some groans and some blah, blah, blah. Uh, but if they don't make 7.3s anymore. It's very straight. Someone just put some new tires on it, it's got a new spare, uh, seats were done relatively recently it would appear, uh, some touch up paint and you should be good to go. Alright, uh, blah blah blah, I think that's it, thank you very much for your time.